If you purchased a radio from China within the last decade or so and you had decided you, you wanted to program it yourself, you may have received a USB to COM port cable that is based on the prolific chipset. There's been a lot of angst over those cables because people have so many problems getting them installed properly on their computers. That's usually the result of drivers that won't work and then if they do work a COM port conflict. So there is so much angst over this that most people on the internet accuse them of being crap cables. What happened was um, the cables were based upon the prolific chipset and a lot of clones started coming out which uh, really made prolific angry so then prolific started releasing further chipsets that would be harder to clone and that's where the grief started with all these conflicts so when you get a cable now you really don't want to do all the research into which version you've got and which driver is going to work with it all you know is that you ended up with a yellow exclamation mark in your device settings. So I want to go through some of the stages that have uh, worked well for me and seem to be the simplest method over some very complicated and success uh, or lack of success methods that people have found and you can find all over the internet. So the first thing that a lot of people don't realize is they may have a bunch of old drivers in their device manager. What I've done to prepare for this is I've created a problem on purpose by plugging two different programming cables in to two different USB ports in, and one of them had successfully been installed before. As well on my computer I have installed a number of drivers that I've downloaded from various sources on the internet and they're already in my computer so when I go to install new drivers through device manager they already show up in there. So you may also have to go and download a few different drivers or maybe not depending on how you fare with the steps that are to follow. So the easiest way to get into Device Manager that I find my preferred method is I open up my uh, start window, I go to computer and I go to properties. That brings up a window where you can then get your Device Manager up and when it opens, you'll see a section for ports, COM and LPT. If you expand that, you won't see necessarily what I see, but if you've already plugged your cable in and you've already tried to install the drivers and it hasn't worked, you may get something like that. But before you take any action, go to View and click Show Hidden Devices. Now go back and see if you've got more. And indeed, what have we got? We've got a, another prolific that is on COM port 7, another one on 6, another one on 18. So we got to clean up that to start with. So I'm going to get in there and first of all uninstall I'll uninstall that one and the one that's on 18 I'm going to get rid of that and now that I've got one left on COM6 which is what my radio programming software is set to so I want to try and keep whatever it is I'm working with on COM6 I'm going to right click that update the driver software, browse my computer, let me pick from a list, and you can see 
all the drivers that I've installed, the one on the bottom there being one of the latest ones from Prolific, and the one that generally seems to work most of the time is the very earliest one that seems to be embedded in Windows so that uh, you don't even have to download it. It's probably going to show up there without you doing anything. Hit Next let it install and it's saying that it successfully updated the driver software let's see if it has yellow exclamation mark has disappeared now so those other drivers many of which were purported by various people on the internet to be the ones at work it usually appears that if you have one of the Chinese cables and not the very latest cable from Prolific then that's how you're going to get it to work. Now if you do need to change the COM ports you will right click it again and you'll go to properties you'll go to port settings and you'll go to advanced and down there under COM port number is where you can get the COM port set to match what's in your programming software. So you have to work between those two to find an available COM port probably here first and if you have to then go back and match that COM port in your software. That's another error that a lot of people don't realize. So if you can't get it on the COM port you want because it's not available here in your device manager then pick one that is and install it there. Back out of ver well, go out of everything so that it takes your changes and uh, you probably have to reboot in order to get that COM port assignment settled in there and then hopefully you won't end up with all kinds of angst that a lot of other people are complaining about in all those forums. That's about it for this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching.